Hi, welcome to Inventor 2019 video tutorial. I want to cover the basics for reference elements, especially planes. Now in Inventor, as in SolidWorks, there are a lot more options than in Onshape. I will try to do at least the same as I did in Onshape. So let's have fun with Inventor. As in SolidWorks, we've got 2D sketches and 3D sketches in Inventor and I can use 3D or 2D elements for creating planes and as in Inventor we can go for sort of trying just go for plane and then select some elements for example a plane and then left click and dragging the mouse to one side you can create an offset plane if you go for plane and select two planes, you will get a bisecting plane. That's very similar to SolidWorks. So you can opt for a certain plane in advance, which is not possible in SolidWorks, but is it has to be done like this in Onshape. So there are a lot of difference between all those programs. So let's go for parallel to plane through point. Select a plane and then a point. And you could do it without that pre-selection, but that pre-selection ensures that you got the plane you want and not a different one, depending on the choice of selection. So let's undo this. Go for plane, choose a point and a direction and you will get a plane normal through that point, normal to that direction. And I forgot to draw splines or so I will undo this one. Let's go for a spline. I can go for a 3D spline. Choose a spline, through point, another point, another point, and create. Finish that sketch. And of course, you can do a plane through a point normal to a curve. So go for just for plane, select that curve, and then select a point. Yeah, same as in SOLIDWORKS, same as in ONSHAPE, deselect. You can go for a plane with a line or a 3D line and then I need some sort of reference. In this case this will not work but you can go for a line and a point. undo that. So if you want to go for a line and a plane then you can give it an angle. Of course you can go through three points. One point, second point, maybe third point. And of course there are a lot more options because you can go for a tangent plane to a surface through an edge, through a point or tangent to surface parallel to a plane. These options are also available in SOLIDWORKS. And of course you can go for a plane with two lines as well or even 3D and 2D line combined. Same in SOLIDWORKS. And I think that will do it for the moment. I will try to cover 
the access and point in and the UCS, the user coordinate systems, in another video or in other videos. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you like to, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you till next one. Bye bye.